G'day gamers, welcome to New by Design. Gonna be doing a video here on Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly and very easily farm wolf fangs. All right gamers, so our farm area or the area we're traveling to is gonna be Rugafulga, specifically the Fanaraki Summit here. So basically that's how we're gonna fast travel to get to the area quickly. And we're gonna be farming around that ice lake that's right here. So this is kind of the pattern that we're gonna take. If you need to, you can go over there, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Just stay really close to the uh, lake there and you should be fine. Make sure you have a lot of light arrows because we're gonna be using light bows for this because we're shooting on top of a mount. Once we get to the fast travel here, you'll notice it angles down towards the northeast and we're going to follow that to minimize the damage as we go down the mountain while being pretty quick while we do it. Dying is going to restart it and take a lot longer, so try to follow this path right away to again minimize damage. I'm 400 power in this, so I have quite a bit of health, so you'll notice that I take barely any damage when I do this. I actually take the same amount of damage, it's just my health is so high that it just looks like I'm going down a very small amount. So if you guys follow this, you should be pretty good with it because you should have, well, even if you're just starting out, you should have enough health to follow that path and make it down without dying. We're almost at the base here, and at this point you might realize that this is actually the same route that I was taking to farm pull polar bear furs in my other guide there, but we're going to actually go just to the right here instead of going straight where we would go to the polar bear furs. Make sure you use your Odin site while you're riding your mount here because these arctic foxes is what I'm going to call them. That's right away off the hop. You can see the biggest issue with these wolf fangs is they don't drop from wolves. They drop from what look like arctic foxes or maybe wolf pups at the very best, but they actually look like arctic foxes and that's how you actually get these wolf fangs. As you can see, I just got one there in the drop. So, Another big problem that we're going to have with this is when you bring up your bird to go ahead and check out everything or bring up your raven rather to go ahead and check the area, these do not come up on the scan. So what you're going to want to do is use your Odin spite and just Odin sight rather and just spam it. You can see here as we are on the map here just north or northeast of the lake and we're looking in the area with we can still use our raven to kind of scan there. You can kind of see where they are, but again, you'll notice that they don't mark as like leather or any kind of resourcing on your map however like I said you could still use it to site and kind of direct yourself to an area where you'll find them and just spam Odin site along the way just in case you come up to anything you should also notice as well they make a very distinct sound so if you pass them as soon as you ride past them you'll notice that they do make that sound so you'll be able to kind of cue on to say hey look like they're pretty close to you turn around or use your Odin site and you'll be able to find them we're just going ahead to kill this group because it looked like there was about five of them here. So I'm going to try to kill as many as I can without really getting too far before I loot just for the fact that it's annoying to chase them down later. But there is a bit of a risk with that one as well is because you may not be able to find them because they blend in really, really well with the snow around them because they're pretty much the exact same color. And a lot of times what they end up doing is they're bedding or they're sleeping. So if you come here at nighttime, I would definitely recommend that you go ahead and use uh, meditate to make it so that it's daytime. Shouldn't be really an issue for you, but like I said, it is a lot easier to spot these in the day than it is the night because there is subtle differences in the color that you can actually see them with taking your raven out. But if you take your raven out at nighttime, it is really, really difficult, obviously, just again because of the subtle, subtle color differences there. So we'll keep on going around this area for a little bit here, and I'll kind of pop the map up every now and again as well to show you guys that I'm still following that same general route that we're doing. And towards the end of this video, after we do our second run here, I'll show you really close up the entire area you can see again we keep on bringing the raven out because we're looking to detect where they are but if you guys want to save a little bit of time again i'll show you guys how to respawn these really quickly um, one thing to look out for again is we're really just looking for movement here you can see that there's a huge group up here by this rocks so we'll go ahead and mark that as well and a little trick that you can also do for this is mark a little bit away from it so that when you spawn back in the second time once we clear the area and you spawn back in you'll be able to use the same marker which I'm actually going to do in this one here or just don't run over your marker um, until you go around the second time because then it just saves you taking the raven out to try to find them a second time here so we'll go ahead we'll keep on spawning these and I think after we kill this group what we're going to go ahead and do is show you guys how to respawn all these animals quicker than waiting for them just to respawn like i said they do respawn differently than the other animals seem to in this game but it still does take a little bit of time that you can actually save just by spawning out and spawning back in so we'll show you guys how to do that in a bit after i miss about a hundred shots on this stupid little article again this is why i'm saying bring so many of these arrows because 
it is actually pretty difficult to shoot these guys when you're riding around on the uh, back of whatever mount you have here. But we'll go ahead and spawn out here. And by that, I mean fast travel to an area outside of the region. So we're just going to go to Horda Hafulka here and spawn out. And then we'll fast travel back. You can see I've skipped ahead a little bit here to save time in the video and make it a little bit shorter. And we're spawned back in here now. And I'm going to do a fast play because you guys have already seen this path down the mountain. You don't need me to show you guys again slowly. Just follow the route that we talked about previously here. And now we're just about low. So we're going to start our farming round two again first thing we're going to do is call our mount here and then we'll work our way down here make sure again you hit odin site right away because hitting odin site will help you identify them they could be laying down and or even if they're not they're really hard to see here so we'll go ahead take them out hopefully a little quicker than we did last time and of course it's about the same thing we've got two of them and the other one ripped away pretty much exactly the same time way as it did the first time so we'll just keep on chasing them down while we're hitting odin site and all that kind of stuff to see if there's any that we happen to pass in the way just because you want to make this a really effective farming or get as many as we can in as small amount of time as we can so you can see we picked him off and well we'll keep on like i said hitting odin site if we see any we'll just grab them as we're on our way to the other area the main goal here is i'm kind of working my way while i'm checking the other area to see if there's any that happen to spawn i'm working my way over to where we marked the spawn the previous round because usually what will happen is there'll still be the same grouping there or at least some kind of a grouping there you can notice that there's actually only one there this time which is unfortunate for us but either way we did manage to pick up a couple extra let's see how we ended up doing overall this is about 10 minutes of gameplay looks like we ended up picking up about 13 of them so unlikely that you guys would have to do more than two runs and really that second one was only a partial run anyway all right, gamers, that is going to be all there is to this video. Hopefully you guys have been able to pick up as many wolf fangs as you needed, and this video helped you out. And if it did, I would really appreciate if you guys go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me an awful lot when you do. If you guys are struggling with anything in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, go ahead and drop a comment in the comments below, and I will probably be able to hook you up with a video to help you out. All right, gamers, thanks for watching.